Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Topsco today, doing a podcast. Joining me this week is Nick. Say hello, Nick. Hey, everybody. And also joining us are special uh, guest stars, are um, Ben and Ian from the Epicast. Hi. Hey, everybody. How's My it going? My God. Where oh, the hell have you guys been? Uh, oh. We've been... Uh, uh, putting some dead bodies in on that. Wow, my phone just, yeah, we've been hibernating. Just went off right then. <laughs> You're gonna have to. Uh... Good job, Ethan. Oh man. So, been so, hibernating. Worry, I'm so too. embarrassing. Um, you guys have been well, hiding not, dead bodies. Really hibernating. Is that what you said? <laughs> sorry, what? What? I'm sorry, what was that about dead bodies? I... <laughs> oh, nothing. Ignore just, it. Trust us. Uh, You're good. better off. <laughs> uh, you know, we're just cleaning up the trash. The... All right. Okay. Well, I mean, that's that's a perfectly normal thing to be doing. Um, we actually haven't had much in the way of collaboration with the Epic Cast. We did Town of Salem, I think. That's it. Oh, uh, we do need to do more, like RuneScape. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I'm talking about <laughs> on Topsco. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Collaboration, RuneScape. You have Topsco versus the Epic Cast. There we uh, go. On, on what? On RuneScape. God, Ben, you're always about the RuneScape. Oh, no, nice. oh, man, RuneScape. Ever since, ever since, um, Ben and I were children. In fact, uh, he was just all about the it, The game hadn't even been released yet. Everyone That's thought he was, it's, it's been released probably when we were five years old. Everyone thought he was crazy. He was like four years old talking about RuneScape. Just yelling RuneScape constantly. And RuneScape, RuneScape. No one knew what he was talking about. So, um, so yeah. Um, a somewhat... Hmm. Maybe lesser known fact, the Epicast is actually um, where I started doing, I guess, sort of like YouTube. I never actually recorded anything, but, um, you know, that's where I started, I guess. Some of my, like, old videos are still on there, or some of me and Ben's old videos are still there, I think. I was well, pretty much, I kind of, like, kidnapped you and, like, <laughs> made you two videos for. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with my son, man. We did like a Pokemon thing, there was a RuneScape thing. Those were the days. Always with RuneScape. Jesus Christ, he's always about the RuneScape. <laughs> it's Holy RuneScape, man. Holy RuneScape. Fuck that game. The title of this podcast, Holy RuneScape. Holy RuneScape. I worship the RuneScape. I um, need a hat. So, this, we haven't done one of these in a while. We missed the one that was supposed to be last week, so we are actually like, you know, like two weeks off from doing a podcast. It's been a while. Um, we sort of got carried away with a short film we were working on, as well as like two new series that are on the channel now. Um, I guess as far as the channel update goes, uh, we started Civilization Five multiplayer, and that features Nick, myself, and Jacob. Uh, playing through some Civilization 5, even though we all own um, Civ Beyond Earth, I think we've all just agreed that it's actually garbage. It's just complete trash. It's just. <laughs> Thanks for telling me, because I was about to buy it. Really? Yeah, and I was like, no. <laughs> Except I don't have any money, so I can't <laughs> buy it. <laughs> <laughs> then you weren't about to do anything, were you? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, was going to buy it. I was just about to and buy I... that game as soon as I got. Money. Yes, as soon as I could. Um, we also have the 100th video uh, and the 100th video bloopers and behind the scenes and all that. Um, I started a series with Brandon called Seduce Me. Just, I'm just going to have an awkward, yeah. an awkward pause there. It's I'll be like, daddy. It's like one of those like Japanese um, dating... Visual novels. Dating sim visual novel kind of deals played that with Brandon freaking best game ever um <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch actually just sort of two awkward yeah I watched a bit awkward guys uh playing as a um like anime high school girl just so constantly being seduced by sex demons um <laughs> it, it's a little bit weird Wait. Uh, the, uh, I guess the other thing, um, that's new, I guess we, 
I started doing uh, like video logs, but those are you know not really that important. There sometimes they have updates in them with the channel, so if you want to check them out, mostly it's just me ranting. I did them because we hadn't done a podcast in a while, and there was some stuff I wanted to talk about, so that's why those are there. Um, what else as far as new series goes? Fallout 1 we've already talked about. That's still going. Oh, and um, I guess hopefully pretty soon. I pretty it, It's going to be a while. Maybe another two or so weeks. There'll be a short, another uh, short film on the channel. But it's possible that you might see some other short film stuff in between that time. Um, yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, we do have like a... Our schedule for um, what you guys can be expecting to see on which days. Uh, so the current running series are Wasteland 2, Fallout 1, Civilization 5, the podcasts, and Seduce Me, uh, as well as smaller stuff that happens every now and then. So um, you'll be seeing five videos every week from us. Um, and, uh, it will be those five videos, so we've got Wasteland 2, Fallout, Civ 5 Podcasts, and Seduce Me. Wasteland 2 is going to be on, uh, this is still negotiable to change, but from what we've decided so far, uh, Civil is, or sorry, Wasteland 2 is going to be on Tuesdays, Fallout 1 is going to be on Wednesdays, Thursdays is going to be Civilization 5, Fridays uh, is the podcast, like today, Cast. and Sunday is going to be Seduce Me. Um, that might change, but as of right now, that's what it is, and the podcast is not likely to move, so that'll stay there. That's pretty much it, as far as general update goes. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's great, that's great. Congratulations. Um, how's your channel been, Ben? Ah, it's been doing good. We're doing <laughs> it's been Ben. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we always, we always have a video. So, you know, on the Epicast games, and then, you know. For those of you who don't know already, uh, who are maybe only subscribed to our channel, um, the Epicast is a, another YouTuber, uh, actually a a lot bigger YouTuber than us. They have uh, currently are at um, about uh, 120 subscribers and... 114, 15, 16? 116, 116, 116. It's a 17 for me, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, right there. They've got uh, tens of thousands of views on their channel and... 15! 15, almost 16,000. Yeah. Um, and um, they're a lot bigger in organization because I think they uh, feature a lot more channels. Um, I know not that oh, quite a while ago, uh, a couple of months ago, you guys had like made the decision to split your channel into like a bunch of tiny channels. Oh, uh, so we have like the Epicast like team up, which will include size. yeah, the Epicast team up, which will include the on our kind of you know podcast, the Epicast, the uh, Epic Talk Show. I mean, and then we have like. Epic news. Epic news. Epic news show. So that and one's for like news, then. Yeah, and and this stuff that we're just—it's a team up between the the game crew and the uh, film crew, and the Epicast film crew who are you know just film tutorials and stuff like that. And what do we do? Show films too. And then there's the Epicast games. That's the that's the channel that I was, I guess, a part of for a while. Um, and that that's just gaming then. Um, so, yeah, what all do you guys have? Uh, like any cool plans for your channel recently? I know you're working on a short film. Uh, a big short film. You know, probably gonna be like forty-five minutes long. Wow. We had to cut it down to like thirty-six though. It's pretty ambitious. So yeah. Almost done with the script. Like I've been working on it. It's like almost a three thousand words. So I just Being imagine how big it is. By working on it. It's <laughs> like I was supposed to finish it last Saturday. So tomorrow is. <laughs> I'm a week late. Mm. Well, 
We're, we're, we're generally, we're about a week late on this podcast as well. <laughs> 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 so, uh, fair is fair, I suppose. Um, anything else you want, like, Tomsko people to hear about? Come you subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Well, I mean, she flips the table. Yeah, I mean, it, it will basically like the same. It's different personalities, but you know, yeah, do you guys, same stuff. You guys are a little bit more like chill, I think. We're um, we're kind of a mess. <laughs> I should we're say getting organized though. Yeah, you guys are a lot more organized, and also you guys have a lot of people that I can actually record. It's like only Ian and I can actually record, kind of. Ian <laughs> still needs... needs uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, sure, I can record. <laughs> How are you enjoying, Ian? Are, 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 are you second. like the newest member then, Ian? Hello? No? Are you, um... um because I, I'm not really sure the order at which Epic cast people join. Is there like a hierarchy? Do you guys have like a king? I, I mean, king. <laughs> well, uh, it's just so it's the co the co owners. The uh, so me and Jordan, Jordan and I are the co owners, and then basically that's it. Like we, Jordan does a lot of things. Like he's making a game, a video game. He does a lot of gaming stuff. And I, I focus more on the uh, film kind of side and the vlogs and stuff like that. Because so, he's making a game right now. He's trying to finish that done. I and uh, I'm making a film. So it's kind of like split between that. That's why there's a Epicast team up channel. What's Ian do? Yeah. Ian? What's your job That's here, the Ian? question. Well, he's... <laughs> 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 he's going to probably uh, start doing a lot of like, you know, thumbnails and Photoshop stuff because you know, he loves doing that. So he's like, he is me. It He's is, my, yeah, so, it is he's actually me, it's so, the epic cast. Yeah, <laughs> counterpart, and yeah, he's gonna be our, he's gonna be our main uh, graphic designer and stuff. But he's gonna participate in a lot of vlogs and stuff like that. He does his own channel. Uh, That's nice. He does have gonna, his own channel. I forgot. Yeah. I, guess, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm subscribed to him and everything. Of epic cast. Yeah, yeah we subscribed to him and everything. He's even <laughs> on our featured channel list, and I actually yeah. forgot. I I even made that um <laughs> that avatar. Wow. I still love that avatar. I I kind of feel like the worst person ever now though. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It <laughs> Everyone knew it already. We were um. Well, we were gonna have um another YouTuber in this as well, but uh, stuff changed. Don't worry about that. Uh, uh the Pope Hayes. Yeah, yeah. The I mean, the purple saint. Did you say the purple <laughs> AIDS? <laughs> no, hey. I thought he said oh, AIDS. Like, I thought you said bet. AIDS. I thought you just called Don't me purple AIDS. Way, then. You might want to cut this part out, Nick. <laughs> I mean, just called him the purple AIDS. <laughs> don't, and don't worry about it. Just, don't. just write a little note. Uh, <laughs> put a little editor's right, no, note. Tell His name him is the purple saint, not the purple AIDS. Here. Uh, um, or maybe just bleep it out, like, Beep. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna record with beep. Oh, have, you, have you seen our uh, recent uh, the epic talk shows? Oh, we we were beeped out some stuff uh, with uh, like a like a duck sound. We've never. Oh yeah, actually, I did watch that. Now that I think about it, I watched the first one all the way through, and then I didn't quite watch the second one all the way through. I mean, it was recorded back in like February. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Um. Talking about Valentine's Day. Anyway, oh. enough about enough about our our channels. Let's talk about some gaming news and some just news in general, I suppose. Um, do you have anything prepared, Nick? Uh, yeah, I've got some stuff. All right, I'll go first. Ready for this? Oh, Nick? Okay. Ready for the sure, greatest news of all time? Yeah, man. Um, we've already talked quite a bit about. Fallout 4. Uh, would you like me to start with that? Or... Um, oh, you know, it is kind of interesting. The president of Nintendo actually died the other day, didn't he? Yeah. He died you at, mean, like, like uh, he died at a week and a half ago? Yeah, yeah, well... Something like that? Something like that, yeah. That sucks. A little bit. 
But, you know, I'm not sure how, how much stuff he actually did. I mean, how much stuff is a 50-year-old man capable of? Apparently, like how did he president of Nintendo. I can't believe he died. That's crazy, though, at 55. Like, in well, I mean, he had cancer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't you know, know that. cancer kills everybody, so... Everyone? Wow. Yeah. That's I mean, sad. there are survivors, but, I mean, like, they can kill anybody. You what can do... One and a half years old, and you can't even die. Jesus Christ! Well, this got dark and morbid really yeah. quickly. Yeah, Yeah, I think so. Um, but uh, in other news, um, just sort of more Fallout stuff because that is what's all over the news right now. Uh, Fallout Four gets new details at QuakeCon. Yeah, yeah, there was Quake or there is QuakeCon this weekend, isn't there? Um, yeah, that's like a Bethesda convention. Yeah. Everyone. I would have loved to have gone to that, but um, sadly not. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is um, they are releasing like the complete Fallout game collection, and it features every single Fallout game except oh, cool. for um, Fallout Brotherhood or the Brotherhood of Steel um, Fallout. DLC? No, it wasn't a DLC. It was. It was. I like, it was a DLC. For Fallout Three. It was called that's like right. Fallout Tactics. Brotherhood or brother something oh, like that. Oh, the standalone Fallout Tactics game. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was. I don't know if it was a failure or. Just yeah. don't play it. I, yeah, yeah, but um, it features uh Fallout, Fallout Two. Actually, it does feature Fallout Tactics, just not the bro the Brotherhood of Steel version. Oh. Um, um, mm -hmm. it features the Fallout Three Game of the Year edition and the Fallout New Vegas Ultimate edition, and it's all wrapped up. In like a, a miniature nuke, <laughs> like pretty much. They, they send it to you in a miniature nuke. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if they send it to you or if you buy it in stores, <laughs> but pretty much, uh, it's it's being sold at QuakeCon, and it's like a mini nuke, and it's got all the games in it. <laughs> what if you had That's that cool. mailed to somebody? That'd be kind of. You open pretty much. I think you like twist it or something, and like you twist the top off the nuke, <laughs> like you're just like opening <laughs> up like a. You know, like there should be like some kind of, I don't know, what did they use back then? Um, plutonium kind of <laughs> rod in there or something like that. <laughs> uh, but actually, have that is sold. Well, that's but the actually, number one way on how to freak out your neighbors. Plutonium sold. <laughs> but actually, it's just you know Fallout, and you know, all your terrorist friends are really disappointed in you. <laughs> um, I probably have a, a plutonium sword though. That that's a bad idea. Hey. It's poisonous, plutonium. Very. I very, know a guy. <laughs> very very poisonous. Uh. Um, that sounds like something I wouldn't even ask Jacob to make. Um, but Jacob will make it anyways. In other Fallout news. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a he's got like a whole like garage just sort of full of it. Yeah. I'm sure <laughs> plutonium. Does. Maybe so that's I... why every time I go near him, I start losing hair. So during the uh, Fallout 4 presentation at QuakeCon, uh, Todd Howard, who's like the you know person, I guess he's like the producer, I think. Um, Fallout, you know how it's always sort of you've always been able to get like companions and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, uh, dog meat, of course, won't be the only companion in this game. Uh, there's going to be like uh, about a dozen different companions, and they can accompany you f through the game. Uh, you can choose, basically. I want a yeah, freaking unicorn with you me. You can find like the <laughs> companion, you know, the different companions and stuff. And um, apparently, uh, they are uh, all romanceable, <laughs> like freaking Dragon Age style, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, there weren't really. And there's quite a few details on like the specifics of the like what companions you'll be seeing, but. I think there's like some robotic ones, so I'm a little bit maybe worried about how that's gonna go. Like, if you can maybe romance the robot. Because <laughs> that's a little weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you can, yeah, you can. You, you can romance uh, the robot. Romance. The robot? What, what uh, about. You can romance just... a bunch of human companions. Right? <laughs> what about. Uh... Regardless of the gender. So you can. If you like. It's like. Yeah, can... The robot just like flies what? up to you and he's just like. I don't know. They don't. They don't call me Mr. Handy for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh Christ, Steve. <laughs> uh, 
I uh, mean, it could be a lot worse than the robot, I think. What if you could romance, like, the dog? That would be even worse. With weirder. a horse. Uh, yeah, that's what illegal. If you get a horse. Well, <laughs> no, it's only human companion. So. Not in Fallout. Sorry to uh, push your bow, Ian. Someone is... Someone's <laughs> gonna make a mod. Unicorns. Yeah, unicorns. <laughs> romance, <laughs> romance the robot I, the dog. Ethan, there's gonna be a lot of people making a lot of different mods like that. Just letting you know. You know what else is cool? <laughs> Just released on um, Steam... I don't. Oh, I mean, a lot of people are excited about it, but uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Four. Uh, oh yeah, another? that's right. <laughs> they made another one. They made another one. Even though that the last game kind of ended the storyline. Yay! 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 Money! Money! Money. On the bright side, it's only about seven dollars. Uh, so you know, you get what you pay for, I guess. Well, no, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Three to four dollars more expensive than what it should be. I think um, yeah. nobody here is actually too big a fan. Uh, no. There was a Endless Legend uh, expansion announced. We played Endless Legend. That was actually our first series on the channel. <laughs> yeah. And one of the only series we've ever actually finished um, <laughs> by completing the game. <laughs> Usually we just like you know get to a point where we're just like Okay, well, this is the end of the series, and we're done with the game. But, um, we actually did, like, 14 episodes of Endless Legend. Finished it. Anyway, there's a new expansion coming out for it. Uh, I don't know about the details for it. Um, it's called The Forgotten. I think it's gonna add, like... Oh, it's gonna like, like, a new faction. Yeah, it's maybe? only got one new faction, apparently. <laughs> oh, but it pretty much adds, like... Or this new faction can, like, go, like, invisible and stuff. Which is kind of cool. That sounds awesome, actually. Um, I would totally play with <laughs> those guys. But, um... What? Hold on a second. Hold on a second? I've just seen the most amazing news story, and now I've lost it. Oh, well. <laughs> what? I found, it. I found one. Hold on a second. Alright, Ben, go ahead and talk about yours while I read this. Okay. NASA discovers the first Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of a sun-like star. The hell, that's actual news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a big discovery, cast. though. <sighs> so, what, what, what exactly have they discovered? So, they, they actually discovered kind of like an Earth-sized planet that's in the, the habitable zone. But, uh, oh, the blue zone planet? The sun. Yeah, something like, like that. Um... Kepler 452, the G2 type star put in, in the same classification as our sun, so it's about the same age and whatnot, same temperature and everything. Uh, oh. The star is 1.5 billion years older than the sun, though. Mm. And the thing is, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You guys, uh, um, you guys are never going to believe this. <laughs> So, Mojang yeah, announced... Way bigger than that discovery yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it could this be a potential Mojang. second Earth. So, it's, 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 Earth. it's big. I hear you guys about a second Earth, you know? You're yeah, yeah, no, fuck that. Um. <laughs> is it Minecraft related? I have a feeling it's Minecraft related. This is why aliens is. don't visit us at all. Yeah, yeah, that, that's probably why. You guys ready for this? Mojang announced today that Rob... I can't read his last name. Mc, McKinley, maybe? McKinley? Mc, Mc, McElney has signed on as the director of the upcoming Minecraft movie. And in other news, there's apparently an upcoming Minecraft movie. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing to admit. Oh, I'm reading Wait, this. What did you say? Off did the say it again? I didn't get it. Oh my god, I'm going to read it again. Mojang announced today that Rob McKelney has signed on as the director of the upcoming Minecraft movie. And in other news, there's apparently an upcoming Minecraft movie. What? Oh, okay. it's a, How would that work? Oh my gosh, I'm hitting a tree now. It's a bit embarrassing to admit, and I'm reading this from the article, um, but I honestly had no idea that a Minecraft movie was happening at all. Perhaps that's because so little has been said about it. It was announced early in two... Sorry. It was announced early in 2014, then the wheels came off in December of that same year. Uh, because the director dropped out over creative indifferences. How do you have creative I mean, like, of a... What? It's like, it's like live action. 
I think. Really? Maybe. I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I would love because you ha- see like garbage all over the internet all the time. It's like Minecraft yeah. in real life, and it's just bad. But like, I don't know if Mojang made a you, movie. I'm I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty bad too. Honestly, right. I don't. There's been I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. I don't know about it. Have you ever seen the uh, ninety minutes long? Brennan J. Arrow's, uh version of like a Minecraft uh, movie, both of a man. No. No. Okay. No. Okay. I gotta show you guys then. That. Well, we'll check it out afterwards. Um, yeah. Oh, would you guys watch a Minecraft movie? Um. I mean, he... maybe, maybe just to see what it was like, because I don't know exactly what it would be like. But um. I mean, I don't know. Here's the ultimate. I'm tra- Here's the ultimate well, question. Actually... Sorry, go ahead, Ian. <laughs> I keep cutting you no, off. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. I've talked enough. What's up? What's What's up, Ian? Yeah. If you try to. Yeah. To... Okay, I think we lost him. Um. I'm sure. <laughs> Whatever. Um. <laughs> well. The another question I think is has Minecraft gone too far uh, in your guys' opinion because in your guys' that doesn't make any sense in your opinion uh, Ben and Nick and Ian because there's been a lot of Minecraft stuff hasn't there I mean it started thinking they're about making it. a Telltale like Telltale is making yeah yeah a game, that's what we talked right? about in the so, last yeah. Telltale is actually making a Minecraft game as well a Minecraft interactive drama i guess type thing and that's pretty crazy but i mean let's 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 go back a bit ready for this so freaking early days minecraft comes out on the pc before anything else and it's like oh my god yeah everyone was kind of cool excited for it the you know some of like the original people who played and like recorded it and put it on YouTube have become like some of the biggest celebrities on YouTube ever just because they were fortunate enough to have played it before anyone else and like recorded it like uh I think like Sky does Minecraft uh was one of like the first I know like the Yogg's cast um people like that and like um I think Minecraft does a lot of its popularity to YouTube and a lot of YouTubers owe their popularity to Minecraft and it just sort of keeps getting bigger and bigger and it just keeps going and I don't I don't know when it's gonna stop really is it just gonna are we yeah. gonna be like 40 years old Nick and Minecraft is still gonna be going like it's just well I, I, I kind of feels say, like it I have to say that uh, Minecraft probably won't be still going by then it'll probably be like RuneScape what it is RuneScape is right now you know <laughs> God, always with the runescape. <laughs> um. Well, you really um. Oh. What? Sorry, I was reading something. Um. <laughs> I um, think. <laughs> Damn it, Ian. <laughs> my job here is to mess you up. <laughs> I I feel like I'm messing you up, actually. Because I keep trying to, or I keep like saying stuff over you. I'm really sorry about that. Um, Not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Sorry. Right. Um. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, I think Minecraft is kind of like how Legos, where everybody's like, "Oh my gosh, Legos! I can make new stuff with this. I can do stuff." And then like. Um. All this stuff came out for it, like you, Lego movies, all kinds of different stuff. And from a creative aspect, Minecraft kind of can't level out with that, you know? Right. Yeah, I s- you don't think so? I mean, Legos are, to many people, timeless. And some people, like, have, like, collections and stuff like that. And, like, their lives are, like, dedicated to Legos. Children growing up today, I think, like, you know, uh people like around the same age as even like uh, my little brother uh like grew up wa- or will grow up watching minecraft videos and playing the game on their phone and on yeah have you like Xbox. there's a have you ever seen like little kids just out and about with freaking big like uh ipads or something like that and they're playing, playing minecraft. minecraft on the pocket edition 
it's it's I think it's still gonna stay around for quite a while because it's just still going with the younger generation. Mm-hmm. It beats them in like what RuneScape is to our generation. Not even. I think it's, most, no, it's, it's, not it's gonna be it's gonna it's be way bigger. So than, much yeah, bigger. it's way bigger, definitely. I'm no problem with that. I think um, as well, like you know, you go up to like a kid around that age and you talk to them. And you can't talk to them for more than like five seconds, and they'll bring up like, "Hey, do you play Minecraft?" And I'm like, "Yeah, actually, yeah, I do." And just like, "Oh," and like they'll just ask you questions about Minecraft, and they just they just love Minecraft. I've got, I've got like cousins. Um, and I saw them like a like a week ago or something like that, and they were like asking. They could play on our phone because on, on my phone because they thought maybe I had like Minecraft Pocket Edition on my phone or something they like just that. Assume that that's the yeah. only thing a phone. Can do. <laughs> yeah. It's almost yeah. um it's like an addiction for them even. Like, yeah. One of one of the greatest addictions, of course, Minecraft. And um, you know, I think uh, anyone around uh, our age or even older uh, who has like a younger sibling can definitely relate to this mm -hmm. <laughs> that they're just all about the minecraft um who knows where it will go or what will happen to it but honestly like you know minecraft merchandise sells like freaking crazy you go to like walmart and there's like minecraft swords <laughs> um you go to like freaking it's everywhere it's mm -hmm. it's even on YouTube, uh, the it's the second most searched term on YouTube. I have no idea what the first most searched term is. Probably music. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and it is the number one most watched game on YouTube as well. So it's just like it's crazy. And now look, like a Minecraft movie. I mean, it's crazy. If it seems kind of surreal to us right now, but like. If you had asked me as like a six-year-old kid playing with Legos, do you think they're gonna make a Lego movie? I'd have been like, no, these are just toys, you know, just playing with Legos. Freaking Minecraft movie. Bam. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. I feel like Forrest Gump. <laughs> that, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Did you guys know that the um, the Fallout 3 Metro train is actually just an NPC wearing oh, I an saw oversized that, hat? Yeah, <laughs> just an NPC wearing a hat. <laughs> yeah, all the or sorry, this specific train in yeah. Fallout uh, that you like, it was part of a DLC. I think that you can ride it, and it's actually just an NPC wearing a hat. And whenever you climb in the train, you're not actually climbing in the train. You're just putting on a helmet that yeah. has, like, an animation to make it look like you're in a train. <laughs> and, like, so if you could go into, like, third person somehow during all that, you would just be, like, standing there with, like, a helmet on. <laughs> like, this train ride is amazing. <laughs> and it's just a freaking NPC with a train on his head walking around and you with, like, some kind of, like, weird, probably untextured helmet. Just, yeah. Like, running around in circles. <laughs> it's one of the best things. I, lo I freaking love Bethesda. <laughs> they make laziness look so good. I don't know how they do it. Oh my god! Wouldn't you like love to just be like out and around, and then you see this NPC run like running around with a train on its head, Nicola. and then there's a dude inside of the train. We're not allowed <laughs> to call them NPCs. Oh, I'm That's sorry. Uh, what do we call them? That's really offensive. AI? They're no, they're human beings. Human beings? Yep. That's what we have okay. to call them now. I know it sucks. Um Why have yeah. you always got to be politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, they shut us down, Nick. Yeah. I can't go back to working at Taco Bell. <laughs> oh. Taco Bell well I can't yeah, I the same thing has happened to me. I I can't go book out and uh at IHOP anymore. See, that's the thing, Ben. You can never go back. It, it's weird because how that happens. I don't want to go back. Yeah, they it's don't want you anymore is the thing. They want, like, new people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they want, like, young No, because I think... Oof, I'm picking 17-year-old. I'm, like, 
I'm pretty young. You're too old. You've been squeezed dry. <laughs> so once I turn 17, I'm too old. <laughs> it's, that's the way the working machine works, though, Ben. You know, they they work you until you like break your leg, and then that's it. You're out of the job. <laughs> You're like a horse. What do you do to a horse that can't run? Put it down. Oh, you can just build it with cyborg legs, and then let it go. <laughs> I mean, that's that's cyborg also cyborg that, horse. That also costs money. I mean, it costs money to make money. Bum, bum, bum. This summer comes the story of one man and his horse. <laughs> beep 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 beep. <laughs> Good cyborg horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it communicates, just through beeps. Beep, 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 beep. That's right, cyborg horse. I love you too. His head just bursts into flames. Oh my gosh. What movie was that fun? No, it was like a movie. Cyborg horse. <laughs> there was like a Poor movie. Cyborg. Well, uh... Bomb. Bomb. <laughs> What it was like happened? a movie like that before. I can't. I think I can't think of the name or something. It was. It was War either Horse. a movie or something like a like a mind, like a, a web series. War Horse. No, like it was. War Horse. Are you sure? <laughs> I guess I'm thinking of uh, that one that people that made the uh, Choi the unicorn. <laughs> Maybe. This summer comes the story. Of one World War Two horse and Hitler. <laughs> Hitler horse. <laughs> it's got the mustache. <laughs> I'll have to like Photoshop that or something. Yeah, yeah. Hitler horse. Hitler horse. <laughs> Boss, we must escape from the Americans <laughs> and the Russians. <laughs> yeah, horse, yeah. <laughs> Join the emotional story of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And his horse. <laughs> Even though he freaking had a car, I'm sure, probably. At some point in his life, had a car. You guys think uh, Hitler had a car? Uh, I would just don't think so. Or do you think he rode around on a horse? Um, if, probably car. If he did ride around on a horse, do you think he would call the horse Hitler horse? Oh, mind for your horse. <laughs> oh my god. Mind fuel horse, yeah. Come on. <laughs> my fuel. Hitler <laughs> horse. That's what they call Hitler in Germany. Mind fuel. Mind fuel. That's French. like leader, right? So, isn't, <laughs> so would that mean. Wait, the if, horse if is he actually. Called his horse, if you called his horse that, would that mean that's. His leader is his at horse? The end of the, uh, yes. At the end of the film as well, uh, Hitler horse. Or Hitler, you know, because he realizes there's no way out, he transplants his brain into the horse. <laughs> and the horse actually becomes Hitler horse. And then goes to work at an IHOP. Uh, and then breaks a leg and they have to give him robotic legs. So it's then Mecha Hitler horse. <laughs> Mecha Hitler See, that's the, that's the trailer right there. That's the trailer. Just when you thought... <laughs> It's like that. What, you what loved is it? Hitler horse and horse desert. <laughs> <laughs> now this summer, <laughs> join the award-winning sequel, Mecha Hitler horse. They didn't have. Didn't they have like a movie that like came out like on DVD, straight to DVD, where they had like Hitler riding a uh, dinosaur? What was that? Guys, we're gonna. We should watch. Um, <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the trailer for, um... Iron Sky? No, God, what is it called? Hold on, I've got to pull it up right now. It's gonna... oh, is, it, is, is it Iron Sky? No. No. It is actually... That's, that's the one with uh, Hitler riding on a freaking dinosaur. Whoa. I sent it to you guys in case you want to watch it. 
It's funny. That sounds pretty funny. No, there was recently like released on Steam. Oh. A short. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's like a short like, film. It's like moon, 60. No, 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 no. It's like it's like a no, 60. No, I'm not talking about you. He's coming. Oh, okay. I'm talking to Ben. The Nazis on the moon. Yeah, they um. They recently released probably what looks like the greatest movie I've ever seen. It's called Kung Fury. You guys have oh. to. Oh my God! Yeah. You guys have yeah. to. <laughs> Yeah, I. Uh... <laughs> I was gonna watch it tonight, actually. <laughs> it looks fucking amazing. Yeah, I saw like, saw like the trailer for it, and it was yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's essentially, and I think this is cool that it was released on Steam because it doesn't have much to do with video games, in my opinion. But it's essentially a story of like a renegade kung fu cop who, uh, like lives in like the 80s and then his friend hacks him back in time to take on Hitler but then he goes too far back in time uh, but then has to go forward in time I think to fight Hitler because he's like a renegade cop he's obviously got a target like uh, the biggest criminal of all time so he's gonna take on Hitler of course who also knows Kung Fu can you guys imagine Kung Fu Hitler like, um, well, I mean, I watched it. I watched the trailer for it, so I mean, I don't even have to imagine it. Kung Fu Hitler. That's yeah. crazy. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Who would have thought he would even like that, too? Yeah, yeah. To think about that historically. Well, he's all about, um, you know, Kung Fu. He likes Kung Fu is the uh, martial arts of the, the higher race. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> There's been a surprisingly high amount of um, Nazi references in this, yeah. which a lot of people may find offensive. Me personally, uh, I think we're the blue team. Prob- Don't worry, we're the blue team. Probably pretty offensive. However, um, at However, the same time, you can't really expect people not to talk about it. I think because like people talk about stuff that's just as bad all the time it's just really nazi germany that everyone's just like no you can't specifically talk about that i mean people talk about you know rape and murder every day so oh it's not even just that (laughs) just it goes back to like even like i shouldn't rant about this kind of stuff but um (laughs) yeah we really shouldn't Uh, check out (laughs) don't worry about it don't worry about it if you like talking about nazis no one can stop you, I don't think. Um, so you should probably tell viewers that we're part of the, the blue team, not the red team. Yeah, yeah. What's the yeah. blue team? You don't remember that? No, I do remember, but not the Nazi blanket. I think, I think you should go ahead and remind. <laughs> Jesus Christ, but I fart. I totally forgot about that blanket. Um, that's a that's an ancient reference. It's not that ancient, actually. It's about a year old. Like a year ago, I recorded something with. Or, me and Ben recorded something, and um, I figured out my blanket was actually Nazi. It was like it was like made in, or one of the patches on it was like Nazi Germany, and uh, and there's like pictures of like soldiers and like Nazi uniforms on it, and like it was like my childhood blanket, and I never even realized it. It's really weird. It's a weird story. <laughs> And I was like, I, I gave him a solution. Yeah, you did have quite the solution. <clears throat> you guys want to see the solution, you'll have to look at Ben's video. I don't remember what it's called because I wasn't the one who uploaded it, but... <laughs> I think we forever upload it, If you just too. watch every if, single Epicast video... Ben, put, ben can give me the link and I'll put it in the description when yeah, I upload this. You can do that. If you just alternatively watch every single Epicast video, then um, eventually you'll... Hopefully, yeah. find it. Hey, uh, but what, first, like 100, 145, 146 videos? Like? Before you do that, you have to watch every so, single one of our videos. Yeah, yeah, make sure so, you're caught up on our channel, of yeah, course, yeah. first, because, uh. No, forget know, about this channel. That's way more important, uh, than yeah, yeah. watching all of their videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Agreed. <laughs> Can we yeah. just agree that we're on the same, you know. No, same no. Nazi, Nazi killer, uh, status? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. We don't believe in killing, actually, at Tobsco. I mean, well, that's we, why you're we never don't gonna... believe in it, but it happens accidentally quite a number of times. No, no, 
Nobody ever dies at Taco. No. Nope. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, that's yeah. That's we don't one of our. That that's anymore. one of our uh, sayings. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why uh, the Epic has most subscribers. No more here. dead Tobs Cos. <laughs> that's why the Epic has most uh, subscribers than you guys. Because we actually tolerate killing. Look, I could write Nazis. like a, I could like write a rap. Right a now. rap. Yeah. Yo, You're gonna write Tobs a rap. Co. What a place to be. <laughs> Tops Co. I'll, I'll just cut it, it before this. It, that way owned, people don't have to listen to this. It's owned by me. <laughs> Tops Co. Yo, yo, yo. Check us out in the uh, description below. Check us out. <laughs> Check us out of all the impoles. <laughs> sure. Oh, <laughs> Christ. Well, that's about... It's about time for us to cut it, I think. Unless you guys nah, we're just talking about. We have to go about like you know another twenty minutes. Jesus Christ, Ben. Nah. It's ages. Ages. By the wanna... way, that's the video. Nazi killer for the win. Nazi killer. Yeah, I'll put that in the uh, in the description no, below. The um. Oh, I thought you were talking about the name of the video. The name of the video definitely needs to be uh, Hitler horse. <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Mecca and Hitler, yes. that's all you have to do. And, uh, I mean, Hitler horse. Enough said. I mean, that's <laughs> gonna get views on its own, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't Who watch wouldn't? this? Oh, yeah. I had a petting zoo, and I had a horse with the brain of Hitler, my god, I wouldn't need this channel. <laughs> <laughs> what would you need to do is you need to uh, photoshop a picture of a horse with a bunch of Nazi oh, symbols I on it. I, I plan on doing that. Yeah, Remember and there's I... nothing else, nothing else, nothing about the top score, nothing about anything, just do that, <laughs> and then get the views. And you, you people are like, is this I'm... real? And click on it. <laughs> Remember, I'm your Ian, so I do all the graphic design stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ethan takes credit for it. <laughs> Make sure you saw the credit. Uh, editor's note, to uh, cut that part out, uh, that Nick just said, uh, go ahead and, go ahead and cut that out, uh, we don't. We don't need anyone to know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, maybe we do. Transfer if we do. <laughs> Unbeknownst to none, Nick is actually the one editing it. Which oh, is, no. Which is actually true. Well, um, well, we'll cut it there. I think we're pretty much out of things to talk about. What are you talking about? we got loads of things to talk about. We've got nothing else to talk about, Ben. I could talk about something. Female thing. You guys want to keep talking? It's up to you guys. I Talking, talk, talk, talking, talk, talk, talk. Ben says yes. I say it's up to you guys, so it's up to you, Nick. Let's just cut say. it here. Let's just cut it here. Well, you guys Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to show your love and, and kill yourself. Uh, Jesus Christ, Ben. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to show your love and undying, affectionate support. For, I love um, you. For I the, love you so much. For, for Top Give me the pussy. Jeez. And the, the, the Epic Cast. Um, be sure <laughs> to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like what we're all about. Become a scrub today. Become a, your very own scrub. Um, scriber? Yeah, yeah. Scrub, yeah, scrub scriber. A scrub, scrub, scrub scriber. Yeah. Uh, a scrub for short. Scrub. A scrub scriber. For short, it's just scrub. We're going to yeah. come out with the underwear, right? A little panty that's Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, well, you can you can buy them in the uh, at www. This is a fake website. dot com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be funny. If that's a real website. It probably. Uh, is. It probably is. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we will see you guys next week when we have more random rambling to ramble on about. Until then, I've been Ethan. I've been Nick. And I'm Ben. And uh, Ian left like mid mid session. So, <laughs> um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah.